ever since I've installed my uh, my Bulldog GT and my F-250, it actually it takes up the, the port, the OBD2 port. So I wanted to be able to actually continue to use my Torque app on my phone, my Bluetooth Torque app in my cell phone, because I, I can actually monitor more functions with that thing. Whereas the Bulldog GT only allows me to add or watch a few different things. So, and it's supposed to go in place of the uh, existing connector and looks, it's supposed to look like factory here. So, yeah, this thing was only about 10 bucks, I'll put a link on it, but yeah, so my goal is I'll uh, be able to use my Bulldog GT and my Torque app at the same time. So, we'll go back out and take a look at that. Alright, so that's my Bully Dog GT, and uh, I monitored my uh, EGTs, my exhaust gas temperature, and also my oil temperature, and my uh, coolant temperature, so I want to look at the deltas. But the problem with that is it uses up the, uh, the port, so I can't connect my Bluetooth adapter to it, connect my torque to it, so I'm hoping I can put the splitter in the place, and we'll actually be able to read them both at the same time. Alright, so I have one of those Elm 327 devices, and, and before I take this thing completely apart, I want to make sure it works. So I'm going to take out my Bully Dog, put this in its place, then I walk up the Bully Dog to this one. And then I'm going to put the Bluetooth adapter on this one. Part of this one hand. There we go. All right, let's fire this up. All right, so before I even deal with the uh, torque, I want to make sure this thing gets power. So this is actually my tuner, and it's also, like I said, it's my EGT exhaust gas or exhaust gas temperature gauge. And I, I look at the deltas, my oil temp and my coolant temp. And right now I have boost, but it only allows me to monitor four things at one time. And I can't monitor like the Ficum voltage and stuff. And more, some of the more advanced things I want to I wanted to do. So I'm gonna put my phone here. I'll get that going here. All right. All right. I'm gonna pair of the Elm 327. It doesn't seem to be as fast. So let's say one, two, three, four. Okay. And let's go back to torque. Waiting for ODV2 complete. That's a good sign. And that's actually what I'm looking for right there. So I wanted the Ficum voltage, the battery voltage, because it's super low. High pressure oil pump, IPR valve, MAP sensor, the uh, turbo VGT, exhaust back pressure, and also my uh, fuel pressure, um, the uh, duty cycle. So I know how hard the uh, fuel pump's running. So yeah, so I can actually, I wanted to have more insight keep my tuner on there and, but let me put it put the wires together now that I know it works so right, I'm just gonna pull the dash down on that up there and that's my that's the bully uh, dog GT right there so I'm gonna try to unscrew this and fish it back up it looks like it's a couple of screws in there and that's what this is for it's gonna take the place of that so it looks like a couple of bolts I get that mess of wires up in there and back together. I don't know if I want to permanently tie it down because I need to get this car smogged here in a little bit, so I'm debating if I should take the programmer off or not. Alright, there it is. Bluetooth's there. You can't even see the other cables. Have my torque running. Yeah, the main thing is I want to be able to see battery volts. Mainly also fick them too. That's important. Yeah, because if your fick them goes out, then you're, it's going to kill your fuel injectors. Alright, then I have my deltas for my oil temp and coolant and my exhaust gas temperature. Alright, so yeah, it works. So if you saw this on Amazon, you're kind of wondering, uh, well, that's how it works. Cool.